said, but glider I mean, men and women are at fault to an extent but we've been gliders have been completely been mentally and emotionally beaten into the ground since the end of world war ii to not be racial don't think racially don't be racist don't see skin color i mean if this has been going on for what 80 years now and so, so think, it's hard so to undo that so you think and it's glider the men as well, right? the nineties have been beaten down by you're the worst thing ever. You're the the reason for all oppression in the world. It's been since ever. it's since the it's been since the forties, since they told the Germans that they committed a mass genocide against where, 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 where are you located by? What what part of the country are you located? Memphis. Okay, my damn fuck. <laughs> well, no, I'm I'm north of Memphis, where um, you know, white flight happened back in the early '80s, and we all moved north of Memphis. And now, um, it it didn't do any good. Now our children are being carjacked at gunpoint, and where we thought was safe, literally, my friend's son, 16 years old, had a gun put to his stomach four days ago, and had his truck stolen, his wallet. So yeah, it's fucking shame if you guys win. Yeah, it is, it is, and nobody and I'm and I'm, I've got people in real life because I'm I'm very honest about my beliefs. I got people that are like, well, I didn't know you were so racial. I'm like, I didn't used to be, but yeah. how can you not see it? And I share I share Ox channel. I'm like, look, you know, it's not. Here's a black guy saying it. You know what I mean? Like, and what, what do they say to me. you when, when when they see Ox channel? What do they say to you? I well, imagine I they hate you. Well, a lot of them do. I had Antifa, well, liberals, I don't know if they're Antifa, try to dox me. They said they were going to ruin my life, that they were trying to find out where I worked to get me fired a few weeks ago um, when there were uh, some some men, not, I don't know what race, men at a red light in Cordova um, trying to open people's doors at an intersection. And I commented, as a girl that I, I vaguely know, I commented, I said, well, what kind of, you know, what, it, what kind of men, what did they look like? What were they wearing? I didn't ask what race they were. And, um, so I shared the post to let everybody know. And, I my comment was probably a bit, a bit much, but I said a rope and a tree would handle this, but I didn't even know the race of the, the people at the time. I didn't have it confirmed. Andy I assumed knew. the liberals knew. That's what yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. They're the They're the fucking yeah. Racist. So they, so they came after me hard. I'm like, are you, are you telling me that you're assuming <laughs> that are, are you saying right. that, you know, for a fact, but they weren't buying and they will, they will not debate with me. They will not have a conversation with me. They threaten me, but, but there's no point of debate with them. There's no point in the debate with them. <laughs> right. I but used to they, spend because summers. They can't, they can't I used prove to me spend wrong. Summers in uh, an hour South of Memphis across the lake from uh, Ole Miss. And I went to Ole Miss as college. So nice. yeah. I'm well aware of the area. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. There's no point in debating with these people. Like literally, no point. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I and I I sit back and I think sometimes, and I'll post it to my social media. I'm like, have y'all have y'all not realized that we used to be able to take our kids to Chuck E. Cheese? I just did a story about Chuck E. Cheese in Memphis. Um, we can't take them to Putt Putt anymore for birthday parties. Why not? Why can't you take them to Putt Putt? Anymore? <laughs> you already know. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you said you said you did a you, you did a story on it. You have a chance. No, 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 no. I post on my social media, just like oh, my okay. Facebook. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you know, can take them to putt putt in Gatlinburg because the uh, sun population is so low. Right. Well, for how long? But yeah, but that's that's a long drive. And for my my son's going to be 14 uh, Monday. And he's yeah. like, he's like, where am I going to have my birthday? I'm like, we can't go to um, Incredible Pizza. We can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Of course, he's too well, old well, for that. Well, you could take you could take them, but just be prepared for you know what may come you know and right. nothing might happen let's be honest let's be fair well, yeah true true but I'll, I'll give you an example we went to the zoo yesterday the Memphis zoo and we're we're looking at the animals and it's um one area of it it says please be uh you know quiet not to disturb the animals or whatever and lo and behold you, you know Sun kids come in and they're beating on the glass and they're yelling and they're running back with beating on the glass and you know my son is is not racial at all he doesn't think in those terms at all 
Okay, we and, got uh, it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So so anyways, it's 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 even if there's not violence. No, there's no, tell, tell us the story about about his son without telling us he's not racist. We don't need to hear that a 14 year old. Well, he he uh, he 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 started to he starts to see that the disruption, the loud, just being loud and the and the not following the rules of keeping quiet, not to disturb the animals and so on. So even if there's not a shooting at Chuck E. Cheese, just going out in public in general, it's disruptive. It's not as peaceful as it could be. It's, 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 it's different. Of, it's it different is, than it the is. gladiators would do. Okay, I, I'm going to ask you one last question from my part, if you, got, if you don't mind. I, but one last question for me. And you could be honest. You could be brutally okay. honest. Oh, how, what about them burritos? Like, how are they? they how do you see them on, out and about? Don't oh, breathe. mamacita, mamacita. <laughs> uh, outside of that, no, really no issues with the uh, umbritos. Uh, I've known, grown up with them my whole life. My dad owns a construction company, so never oh, had any, that was any issues. <laughs> so, you should, so, hear, you so, should hear the way my dad talks to him. <laughs> so let me find out that your dad's hiring undocumented <laughs> illegals. <laughs> Uh, well, no, 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 no. says if he has any uh, home improvement stuff to do, he's hiring um, umbritos. Yeah, my dad has he has a crew of hangers and a crew of finishers, um, but he does the smaller work himself, and he and my oldest son works for him too. So, mm. but yeah, in the past, when before the the crash in '08, he um, he had several crews. And if the and if the the you know Fernando has undocumented whatever with him, then that's just what it is. <laughs> you know. No, I mean I, I'm I'm I was I'm joking, but okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah. How many seven men does your father um have on the team? None. None. I don't know that. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know that I've ever even heard of a a sun man that does drywall. Honestly, I I know I know I know two, two that do drywall. They do a good job. Really? Too. Yeah, they do a good job. Two good dudes. Yeah, we, uh, yeah I don't we got them I'm here. Just... We got them down here in Florida. I see I see uh, sun men out working construction and doing jobs too. I see a lot I've of those, a... but but I do see plenty of sun men out hustling, which is good to see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just I don't know of any any myself, but I I do know a lot of sun men painters. There's a lot mm -hmm. of uh, painters that I've seen that are sun men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So anyway. So yeah. Um. Wow. That's deep, man. Um. You have. Um. Is that you? Is that big? Is that big bad John? Or is that you? Yeah, that's me. You I mean, I don't know. Noise? I don't know who you're looking. You make a lot of noise in the background. But you might want to mute yourself, man. Oh, my bad, bro. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, June. Um, you said you guys left um, Memphis in the early, um, in, the, in the 80s. Um, mm -hmm. What was the reason for that? Well, from from what I understand, you've you've done several stories from Fraser, which is mm -hmm. uh, north of Memphis as well. Mm -hmm. Used to it was Fraser was all glider, like that's where wow. I was. It was it was completely glider, and that's where it was like the hip place to be. Uh, they had a movie theater. They had I mean they had all kinds of stuff, and that's where I lived the first few years of my life. Um, and my mom told me she said the. Um, Sun Sun people would not come past Chelsea Avenue, which is like, anyways, it's a street that separates downtown Memphis from Fraser, sort of. Um, Why would they I, not come past the threat of violence, or just? <laughs> I, I, I I assume so. I I think that glider men were more bold back then and wouldn't take any crap, and you probably had some that would do violence on Sun men for no reason. I, I don't know. I, I was mm -hmm. not born yet, but um. Anyway, so um, I think with uh, Mayor Harrington being elected and taking over um, Memphis politics, I think that's what drove it down. 
and there's a lot of corruption involved with him. He, he's a, also a sun man, <clears throat> but there's still a couple of elderly gliders out in Fraser, and they're still alive, so far as I know. But um, the rest of us, we moved north, and then um, a lot of them moved east, and that's when Cordova started to be developed more. But they fall. It <laughs> they. <laughs> it seems as if sun people follow. You know, it, slowly but surely they trickle in. So wherever <laughs> y'all go, you can't, you can't, you can't get away from them. There's no getting away. There's no getting away. And that's a girlfriend of mine said something recently. And she said, we, we can't keep running because gliders will just keep pick up and pack up and move. And we'll pack up and move and pack up and move and pack up and move. And at some point we got to say, no, I'm, we can't keep running. But then if you say anything, you'll get charged with hate crimes. If you defend yourself, sometimes you'll get, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, Gliders just don't, don't know what run, to If you don't run, like, <laughs> think about it. Your schools become shit. Yep. Your neighbors I'm experiencing that shit, now. So you have to run. Yep. You, you literally have to run because if you, you uh, so your son's school has become, has gone yes. downhill? Yes. Memphis. How long Memphis. has it taken? How long has it, how long, oh, give us the arc of how, how this is, how this happened. Uh, well, Memphis. Memphis City Schools and then the county had its own separate schools. So Shelby County Schools, well, they merged Memphis and oh, Shelby yeah, County Schools yeah. together. And <clears throat> we got a new principal. Now, our past principal was a son woman, and she was phenomenal. Um, my son's school is is uh, one of the best kept secrets of the county. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but right, right, it's way, right. out, way out in the woods. And uh -huh. uh, when Me when the merge happened... Uh, a lot of the little towns in the area created their own municipality school districts. So they are their own districts now. But our school way out in the woods was not able to be brought into any of those municipalities. So we were literally left to the wolves. And um, the the new principal came in and within her first month, she um, painted over a 100 year old historical mural that was that had been there since the opening of the school, you know, 100 years ago. And it it's a com majority glider school. But we have I mean, it's it's kind of diverse, too. It's very small. Um, but that pissed off a lot of the parents. But what can, I mean, what do we do? What do you what can you do about it? This woman has the power. We don't. She's um, black. Yes. Very, oh, very, yeah, very. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I already know. So um, there's been issues where um, kids are being uh, beaten, you know, bullied. They, t you know, parents take it to the administration and the administration does nothing about it. They don't speak about it. They don't send, you, you know, it just is no action is being taken against these kids. Because and they're so fun kids. Yes. And I, and I did not know that until I started talking to other parents and I said, can I ask, was such and such, you know, a, a glider or what, whatever. And every single time it's been a sun child and it's, <laughs> it's, and, 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 and look, and I'm just telling the truth. I have no reason to make this up. I, I think and, it's a coincidence. That it's a sun child. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so anyway, um, I, I think most of the parents have just given up. This is my son's last year there. And my daughter, I was wanting her to go there, but I'm even more fearful for her because girls are a lot more delicate than boys are. So and she's in a private school. We'll pull her hair out from the root. Man. Yeah. Whenever I was, uh, I started going to a, a very diverse high school. I'd get on the bus every day and son, son girls, sit behind me and beat me in the back of the head with their books and binders. And I'd go home and I'd cry and ask my mom. I don't even know their names. I've never seen them before. I have no idea who they are. Mom, why do they hate me? Why do they do this? I don't understand. And, and she'd say, they're just jealous. And I never, I, I, that, that to me was like, mom, yeah. just think it's something up to try to make me feel better. Yeah. I never understood that until really I started listening to this show. And, I had very, very, very long hair. I lived in a nice home. 
you know, it's like my bus it was, dropped off. It was off. just the hair, though. It was just the hair. Was- <laughs> Have you ever heard the uh, analogy <laughs> of crabs in a bucket? Where uh, crabs in a bucket will literally pull each other back down into the bucket in order to prevent others from actually escaping. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but. So yeah, I I experienced that that terror myself, you know, mm-hmm. threatening yeah. of being jumped, and I didn't like I said I didn't even know these girls, I didn't know them from I get getting called Casper and Honky and all this other <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah, but I still I still wasn't racial, I still was not I I did not How think did in racial terms. How did you manage to not be racial? I just I I just. I wanted to be friends with everybody. I didn't. That programming of a glider. I, you know what? It, it could have been, but I don't ever remember being programmed. I don't ever remember that being because I'll be. Works. Well, yeah, no, I trust that, but I'll give you an example. So my, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much, but my, yeah, my elementary school, there were uh, two son kids in my grade, all kindergarten through fifth grade. They were, you know, they were very nice, whatever. <laughs> for sixth grade, I had to go to a very multicultural school. That was what I was district for. And within four months, or no, I guess it was February, Black History Month was a big deal there. And I had never... I didn't know anything about that. It, I, it had never been a subject before. So during some of this lessons, I asked my teacher, well, is there an Italian history month? Oh, buddy. Oh, God. And this is a glider I, teacher, okay? The, <laughs> next, the next, I didn't know any better. I was like 11, you know, I didn't know anything. So the next day I'm leaving the cafeteria with my class lining up and an entire class of sun kids threw their cheeseburger lunches at me ketchup mustard tomatoes you name it and i freaked out my mom goes to the school the principal said well your daughter made a racial comment a racist comment so no we will not be disciplining anyone italian history is basically rome that's it (laughs) well i was in sixth grade you know what i mean like i i I know more about history now than most most people do but it's just, it's, it's, it's stuff like that. It's like, I th- it, it may be more so programming on some people that white people or that gliders are just evil and they've done all this to you and they're racist and they hate you. And that's just not true. <laughs> like gliders are the most accepting. Oh yeah. You know, you know, yeah, we love everybody as long as they're not illegal aliens, you know, that's why I get the beginning of the show saying <laughs> he wants to be under the rule of gliders. <laughs> yeah. Glider men, glider men, <laughs> please. Not the, the, glider the, glass are, the glass are very nice. They're, they're not, I, I never found them to be aggressive. You know, I find the umbritos and the sun men to be aggressive, but. I've and, never and, seen. And even, even, even amongst them, them they're aggressive. very welcoming too, but the gliders are just even more welcoming, more like yeah. friendly. And one of the biggest things I think that holds gliders back is that like my mom, she lives even further north of here, and she's like, oh, no, the, the sun people, you know, she doesn't say sun people, but the sun people up here, no, they're, they're with us. They didn't vote with, they didn't vote for Biden. No, they're, you know, I talked to them in Walmart, and they, you know, I was talking to this one girl, and blah, 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 and I'm like, you know, and I get that, and I'm not, I'm not mean to anybody. I'm, I'm just a flat-out racist. I tell people that. I'm racist, but I don't treat anybody differently in public. I don't, I'm not rude to anybody. I just think in racial terms now. And I told my mom, I said, I- I'm glad that you, you know, that there's, there's nice people of all races out there. And, and I, I love that. That's great. But I'm not going to sacrifice my children on the altar of multiculturalism. I'm not going to sacrifice my daughter to be terrorized because there's some nice people of this and that. Because I know that if my, if my kids are terrorized by a glider, I'm going to their house or I'm going to have, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I can't do that with a sun person or on Brita because I'm going to be called, I'll, I'll be all over the news and I'll have hate crime charges. Right. You know what I mean? So, so how are you addressing that with them? Like how are you talking <laughs> to them about that? That sounds like a, like a dilemma you're in. 
it's well talking to who to you to your kids about you know just understanding my, this the bullshit they're being fed right because it's bullshit yeah my my boys my boys naturally rejected all the globo homo garbage and it was it was pretty much their doing that caused me to wake up to it so they they i think glider men or boys naturally reject that type of stuff if they're healthy um <clears throat> But I don't. I just let them observe it, it, for themselves. They're at the forefront of it. The gladder men are at the forefront are. of that for me. They are. They are. My 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 oldest son used to go to Memphis for the for the car. The they call it car meet meetups or whatever. I'm like, no, it's illegal drag racing. But but whatever, you know. And then there was a shooting at one, and I said, see, I told you so. You're you're not allowed to go down to Memphis anymore. Um, but you know, they observe it themselves. They're you know they're older now and and they could see for themselves so i think that's the best way to get through to people is is them experiencing and seeing it for themselves glad you are the most so. hated for the for any group everything out there yeah they are the most oppressed lighter men mm -hmm. are the ones that are going to organize society in a way that is freedom conscious yeah, well, they're already working on that, but you'll never ever hear about it because they will not say their name on the news. But it's nationaljusticeparty.com, and they are doing. Uh, they're doing activism. They're organizing. They're a political party. Miss, and, <clears throat> Miss, yes. I just want. I just. I heard what you were saying. I just wanted to jump in real quick. Uh, shout out to Act. That's the best show on YouTube slash yes, it is. right now. It's a great yes, it show. Is. It's bringing everybody of all walks of uh, color. To it's, it's bringing everybody of all walks of life uh, together and realizing the nonsense. But I wouldn't say you're a racist. You know what I'm saying? I I adopt like the the uh, JLP mindset. Like I feel as though racism, like the word racist, is just like just a lie, made up word. That's like, amazing. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he taught me a lot. He, he he helped me on this path. But uh, I believe like all the stuff like how they teach us about our history and in school about slavery and Jim Crow and all that stuff. I believe that shit came from like, like some communists to get black people to hate America. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just, and just try to tear the country down from the inside in because like, like I know like, like racism and like slavery and all that shit wouldn't have stopped if it wasn't for white people. And then when you learn about people like, Jim, or what's, what's his name? John Brown. Mm. Hello, you ever heard of John Brown? I uh, maybe. No, John I don't think I have. Oh, oh, look, John Brown was a was a glider. He was a glider. He was a, he was the abolitionist. He was an abolitionist. He was yeah. the first, he was the one who kicked off the uh, Civil War because he he seen his black friend get killed by some older white guys and he just went on a war path ever since then. But uh, it's just it's just it's just it's just right and wrong. That's all it is, man. So I wouldn't don't call yourself a racist. You just got sense. I just wanted to hop in there and say that you seem like a lovely person. And well, just thank God you. Bless, yeah, just God bless everybody on the panel, man. Right. 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 Now, you Mayo, too. he's a racist. Have you guys? Have you guys remembered? Um, have you guys? Uh, you guys I'm the worst. Water boys, right, Water Boys, right, Water Boys. So here, here, here we go with Water Boys. This isn't um, this isn't Baltimore Water Boys, but this is um. Houston Water Boys. All right, so this is what's this is Houston Water Boys. Man, you fall outsourcing. Oh, all over, nigga. All, all over, nigga. Crip, hurry up, nigga. That's all Yo, right. nigga. You a hoe, nigga. Like that. Nigga, you a pussy, man. They robbing them. They robbing the Water Boys. They robbing the Water Boys. These these niggas came up and robbed the water boy. Watch man, it. you fall black me from a hoe. All over, nigga. All over, nigga. Crip, hurry up, nigga. That's Yo, right. nigga. You a hoe, nigga. Like that. That's That's the time, time, nigga. You a pussy, man. Yo, nigga. And this murder game's happening, man. And Ted Twins and I said, fuck that. Like hey, lift your jacket up real quick. Can you lift your shit up by switch teasing, right? Hey, now, lift your jacket up. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Yo, lift that shit up, bitch. Hey, you got a Y'all niggas some broke ass. That's all I got. I'm gonna kill you next oh, time uh, I see you. Let me catch you no more. All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me a cigarette. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes, man. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, can we hire them to go to Baltimore? <laughs> I noticed that the driver has people in the back seat, probably armed, ready to go. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. But here's, here's the thing. Do you do you notice when I told you why the Baltimore Water Boys, why they operate where they operate at? Why they operate downtown Baltimore? Because that way they don't have to see uh, other sun men. Yeah. Fighters they prey on. That shit, you never see the water boys in the hood. You always see them, even in Atlanta, you see them by the um, by, by the exit. The exit ramp, the off ramp to the exit, or downtown. This is what we're going to glider happen. areas where they're going to run into gliders and um, burritos and... Right. I, I nobody wants and, to get uh, gunned down. Tigers. This is what would happen if the uh, water boys operated. You're in standing, stand? yeah, yeah, in 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 the inner stand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is what would happen. This is how when I told you, I, like some men aren't used to hearing yes all the time, only from gliders. Like an hour ago, I told you guys yeah. that some men are used to this from other sun men they come to you and they get nothing but yeses and then they make you feel bad about taking too long or you carried the s that or you said it with an attitude when you said yes but they get treated like this by other sun men. and these guys are said the shit they're saying to these kids look at how this kid this is the same kid that would snatch a white lady's purse and and transfer all her money to his cash yet. This is the same kid that if you um didn't have any money and you were white, he would break your fucking windshield wipers. Look at how this kid is acting to these other son people. Man, you fall black men some hoes. All of it, nigga. All of it, nigga. Crip, hurry up, nigga. That's Yo, like nigga. You a hoe, nigga. Like that. Yeah, you a pussy ass, nigga. Yo, nigga. And this murder game tapping in, nigga. And Ted Twins, you like that? Hey, lift your jacket up real quick. You lift your shit up, I switch teasers right now. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Lift that shit up, bitch. I nigga some broke ass. I'm going to kill you next time I see you. Let me catch you one more. All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me a cigarette. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes, man. Man, you fall black. If you think that these two kids wouldn't fucking wouldn't fucking reach in the car and punch a white lady who who um, told them that she didn't have any money, you're fucking crazy. They're only acting like this because they're dealing with other sons. <laughs> well, and here we find the real reason why they freak out anytime a glider says the N word because it is a powerful word to them. Yeah, it's if not anybody easy. says it to them, it is a power word. That just that just looks like rival hyenas. You know what I mean? Like rival packs of animals. You know, but it's it's hyenas versus lions. Not, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Exactly. Like it's, yeah, it's lions against lions. You know, like oh, the the weaker ones got punked right here, and that's what happens. Like. When the alphas come in, they'll grab the little cub lions and they'll grab them by the neck and kill them and, and get rid of them so they can get to the females. You know what I mean? Like, just the life on the savannah, like you say, Ock. Yeah. Um, salute to GG Ryder, man. He says, I saw a National Justice Party in my local news. When three sons stomped the glider to death at basketball courts, county dropped murder charges. Put that in the back chat. Um, send that to me, GG Ryder. Um, Salute the um Lord Mingo. You covered Lomingo. that story, Ock. That that's the what, what Baltimore or something where where the sun where the glider was playing basketball with the sun teams and the the, the peripheral sun teams absolutely stomped him out and beat him up and he he, he died from a brain bleed or whatever it was. No, no I think I, it, that was the one that that happened at uh LeBron's school. Oh, LeBron's school is that what he's talking about? Yeah, know, where where they drove by with the water guns. Oh no, ch yeah, no charges. Yeah, no, that was different because they were fucking with those kids. Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, the white guy got, got got out the car, tried to break it up, break up the fight, and then they fucking curb stomped his ass. Um, so yeah, glad I should have stayed in the car. Um, Lom, so look, shout out to um Lo 
Flamingo. He says, shout out to John Brown. Shout out to Gladys. <laughs> shout out to Hot God bless America. <laughs> um, let me see, man. Um, but yeah, these kids, I promise you, these kids with some gliders. You buy some water. Come on, man. Buy some water, man. Buy some water. We've been out here all day, man. Man, fuck you, bitch. It's, it's, it's just, you just get a different sun, man. You don't even know. Like, a glider was kind of these sun men and think they were the hardest sun men on the block. But these sun men are just only doing that because you're you. Because you, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're, you, you're, you're at the bottom, bottom of the food chain. Like, you're like, you're not even like an antelope glider. You're like a, um, a sloth. You ever see those three-toed sloths? You're like a three-toed sloth, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the, in this in this ecosystem, now in the whole world you're apex predators, but in this little ecosystem you're a three-toed sloth. But yeah, these guys right here would definitely like be abusing gliders and taking their shit, snatching their phones, kicking this out of their cars. If they didn't give me fun, you know what I'm saying? The same shit we see in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, let me um let me let, let's you know as a matter of fact, let me see what is what is up with the water boys in Atlanta, man. I haven't heard nothing about out of the water boys in a 